Hello everybody, welcome to Bad Big Games. I'm your host, Joseph. Today we're talking about Nintendo and the Nintendo Switch Online service. Is it as good or great or bad as what everybody is saying on the internet? Well, let's give it a go. With that said, Future Joe, roll the intro. <gasps> Did that rhyme? I think it rhymed. I think it rhymed. So, the Nintendo Direct happened last week, and I feel like instead of everybody talking about Luigi's Mansion, or talking about Isabelle and Smasher, and New Animal Crossing, Civilization VI hitting Switch, instead of talking about all the awesome things, we're talking about one thing, the Nintendo Switch Online service, because I feel like the internet has grown into two voices. You either hate this thing, you hate it so much you think Nintendo turned you into a newt. I got better. Or you think that everything is awesome. And these people who are complaining have no justification to complain in the first place. Well, I'm here to tell you something. Service is something else, all right. So what we're going to do today is we're going to break down the five tenets that make the Nintendo Switch online service a thing. Break them down piece by piece and let you know how I feel about it. The good, the bad, the ugly. So with that said, let's get into it, shall we? So let's talk about tenant numero uno. That is the ability to play games online. A lot of people feel like this is a service that is being taken away rather than being added on to, right? Being able to play online is something you've been able to do on your Switch for over a year and a half now. And that's because Nintendo has consistently delayed this paid service constantly over the past year and a half. But as a gamer, as someone who watched the first announcement of the Nintendo Switch, the unveiling, Nintendo told you from the get-go that they were going to charge you for online somewhere down the line. So for me, I knew what I was getting into. I thought I only had Splatoon 2 for a few months for free. Instead, I had it for more than a year for free. So I get why people are upset because you are accustomed to this free thing. And some of you feel like the Nintendo servers are made out of Labo. They're just made out of cheap cardboard because when there is a Splatfest, it crashes. Mario Kart 8, I've never experienced a playthrough where I haven't lost connection. Mario Tennis debacle, I get it. The online service has not been the best, but I think of it as uh, a PlayStation player coming from the PlayStation 3 to the PlayStation 4. The network was flawed and it's still not the greatest. It's not Xbox Live levels of great, but it's gotten leaps and bounds better than what it once was when it was free. Because to me, when it comes to console online experiences, though I'd rather them all be for free, you do kind of get what you pay for. And so Sony service, it did dramatically increase it did benefit players when it turned into a paid service. Now, the benefit here is if you don't play games like Splatoon, Mario Kart, or Super Smash Brothers, uh, and you play games like Fortnite or Paladins, those games will still be able to be played for free and online. So I'm thinking this as a plus because seeing what, you know, seeing history, what it's told us is that ultimately when it's a paid service, it starts to become a better service. And I think that Nintendo is going to pour the money that they get from the service onto the online service. So to me, I think it's going to be a good thing. So to me, this is a benefit because I knew what I was walking into. Okay, the next thing, where, and this is where all the negative people are going to get on my side and give me a pat on the back. The Nintendo Switch online app, say that five times fast, is also a piece of garbage. It's not very good. Since the start, I've known so many people who have downloaded the app in the beginning, gotten so disgusted with it because all it was was a battery drain, and there were so many wires just to get party chat working on this thing, that all you needed to do was jump in a bathtub and be in a bathtub tank. That's what it felt like. It felt like I was just hooked up to wires. I felt like I was being plugged into a shitty matrix. So with that, the Nintendo Online app, I don't need to go into much further detail. Okay, so one tenant to me is a positive, one tenant is a bad thing. What about the third thing? Cloud saves. The thing everybody's putting their engineer hat on, pretending that they know anything about code and constantly judging. Well, I could only judge from the outside looking in. And understanding that 95% of games will support cloud saves and that a select few doesn't means most players think cloud saves are going to be all right. Because for everyone at this very moment, if anything happens to your Switch, if you lose it, if it gets lost, if it breaks, it falls into a wood chipper, whatever the case may be, you lose everything. You lose your Zelda saves, you lose your Mario saves, you lose 
every single bit of information. And that sucks. It's not like the PlayStation where you can download everything to a thumb drive or like on PC, you download everything through, to a thumb drive or where it's on the cloud like it is on Xbox or like it is on PC. It's, it's not like that at this moment. It's vacant. And if anything were to happen, you kind of have to send it to Nintendo and hope everything comes back fine. So that sucks. It does. There is no way around it. So this cloud service for many people is that fix, but there is some exceptions. If you play NBA, Dark Souls, 2K, if you play games like Splatoon 2, Pokemon Let's Go, those games don't support cloud saves. And that sucks. That is to prevent cheating, like they say. To me, it's not a thing on Xbox. It's not a thing on PlayStation. It's not a thing on PC. So there's a flaw somewhere that Nintendo needs to address. I'm not going to pretend to be the engineer. Like, I think it's going to be an easy fix, but it's something they're going to have to fix down the line. Because for most people, this cloud save thing is a non-issue. But for people who are Splatoon players... You are screwed. And I think a lot of the anger and frustration comes from the people who play games like Splatoon online because you're promoting this online service, Nintendo, and your online marquee title that is Splatoon is not supported by your online whatsoever in terms of save data, right? They have to pay this service to continue playing this game and they're getting no conceived benefit from it. And that's where the core problem is. So in the whole grand scheme of things, Cloud Saves is a flawed service. Like, if you don't re-up a Nintendo Switch Online, you lose everything almost instantly. From what it seems like, as of right now, you lose everything if you don't re-up that service. And some people defend it going, well, that's like every service, right? Wrong. That does not happen on Xbox. Believe it or not, that does not happen on PlayStation. They give you months to re-up until they start deleting your save data. They don't give you days. That is a flaw. That is something that is stupid that I think is a simple change that Nintendo will fix down the way. So with that, the third tenant that is cloud saves, it depends where you stand on cloud saves. I know for, for a fact I put 200 hours into Splatoon, and if I lost everything and I wasn't able to back it up onto the cloud, I would not touch Splatoon again. I wouldn't. If I can't play as an Octoling, I'm just not going to play in general. And that's how I feel about it. And that's how a lot of people feel about it. So I feel like you are in the right if you think that this service is great or bad because this service does help some people and leaves a, a very big minority out in the dust. So with that, the third tenant is either a negative or a positive. It depends on the type of player. But the fourth tenant is awesome. It's Nintendo entertainment system games online you want to play your old nes games online you're going to start being able to do that right now there are 10 games at launch and at the end of the year there's going to be 20 plus games and they're going to add more games as the years go on and to me this is awesome because this gives a foot in the door for anybody who wants to get into retro gaming it preserves the history of gaming for a really cheap price that is a dollar and 60 cents every month that's amazing. This is Nintendo, but Netflix, but cheaper. And I really, really like this part of the service. And also, uh, something that I don't think a lot of people are going to use much is it also gives that online element. So there are some games that like baseball, tennis, soccer, you'll be able to play with your friends online. Cool. I don't, I don't know how successful that's going to be, but I'm glad that people are able to do that. So overall, the fourth tenant's pretty damn rad. We get to our final bit, and this one is to me the most hilarious. Special offers. And Nintendo's answer to special offers is, we'll tell you at a later date. <laughs> Nintendo, dude, you are adding a service in less than a week when you announce this, and you're not telling us what the fifth thing is. Like, special offers usually is awesome. If it's anything like PlayStation, anything like Xbox, we're going to be fine, right? Give us special, like, you know, extra percents off to, to games that are on sale. Give us a percentage off for pre-ordering games. That would be really rad. But honestly, this could be just a keychain of, you know, Luigi giving us the finger, and we have to be okay with it. And to me, by not telling us, it's not a negative, it's not a positive. It's just bewildering. It's like, I don't. I don't get it, but that's the thing. At the end of the day, when we take everything together, so I think paying for online is a necessity. It's just realistic. It's what everybody's doing. I think it's a positive though, because I think the servers are going to benefit out of it. I think the online app is dumb and bad. So I think we can add one to the positive, one to the negative. I think the cloud server 
issue, the cloud saves, I think that could be a both a positive and a negative, just depending on the person, what type of gamer you are. I think the NNES support is awesome, and I feel like we could bring it into even SNES, Nintendo 64, GameCube games, the pie in the sky, what everybody wants, and I think that's a positive. And I think special offers can only be a positive, but only time will tell. So for me, the online system is not great. Let's not pretend it is. It's not amazing. It's not even good. To me, it's okay. It's meh. It's what it's, it is 20 bucks. And I think that's the strongest thing that this service has is that it's only $20 for the whole entire year. The thing that I don't like at the end of the day, so I'll be buying this, but I'm not buying it day one. I need to make that uh, well aware. Uh, I'll be buying this when I need to buy it, whether that's Let's Go, whether that is Super Smash Brothers. I'll buy it when I need it, but right now I don't need it. I have so many other games I need to play. So for me, I think this is an, uh, a bit of uh, something that I can wait on. And I think that's perfectly fine. If you like this service, like it. And if you don't, don't buy it. And I think that's what people are missing the point on, is that if you don't like this service, you have a right to complain. You do have a right to complain, but you need to do it respectfully. You can't just add in curse words everywhere and be all angry and no substance. Tell Nintendo why you don't like the service. Be respectful about it. Be nice about it. You can be and have criticisms and be nice. Okay? This is a great way for Nintendo to see the faults and the positives of the service and what people really have to think. So when people are trying to hush up everybody, going, I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed everybody's complaining. These complainers suck. Do you understand you are doing the same exact thing? You are complaining about people complaining, so aren't you the person that's complaining? Whoa, mind blown. I understand. That logic is not sound to a lot of people, which is sad. And the truth of the matter is, is that if you like this service, tell Nintendo why you like it. If you don't, tell Nintendo why you don't. Don't bicker at each other. Don't give fights with each other over an online service. And at the end of the day, uh, for the people that are the complacent ones who say you cannot complain or you can't compare PlayStation and Xbox all the time, but now, when it's convenient for you, you start comparing it. Like, well, you know, compared to PlayStation Online, compared to Microsoft, it's two-thirds less. And, and, I, and I feel like you're picking your battles. So for me, I feel like both sides are a little bit in the right and they're a little bit in the wrong. I think you can compare them to other online services on other consoles. And I think it's fair to because this service is watered down. But again, for 20 bucks, what do we expect? Again, at the end of the day, I think the service is fine. I don't think it's the end of the world, but I understand people who have criticisms for it. So with that, I'm going to ask you something of the world, okay? I'm going to ask you something really important. I want to know what you think of this online service, but be respectful to others. You get... You put down a shitty comment, expect a shitty response. Expect me just to take it down because we need to start a dialogue. We can't just put F this, F that in everything. You have to be constructive. And so let me know what you think of this service down below, but do it in a nice way because here at Bad Big Games, this is not a soapbox for me. This is a way to start a conversation. This is what I feel about the online service and I'm neither nor right nor wrong more than you're right or wrong. So again, my, my opinion is just as important as yours. Let me know in the comment section down below what you feel about it. And here at Bad Big Games, we talk about all things video games, whether that's Nintendo, Xbox, Playstations. We do news, rants like these, impressions, unboxings every single week. So if you you like that then please like this video subscribe it grows this family it, it shows me that you love me that you care you love me you really love me so with all that said and with all that out of the way everybody keep your wits about you and have a nice one